In this video, we'll show you how to set up the motor and other startup parameters on the ACS355 machinery drive after installation. Before we continue, you should ensure that your drive has been installed and connected to the motor and that your electrical connections are complete. We're configuring the drive through the assistant control panel. You should have access to the motor's nameplate information and user's manual. Let's get started. The drive's control panel supports 16 languages. The languages can be found in parameter 9901. Press soft key on the right upper corner and select parameters with the arrow keys and press cell. Then select parameter group 99 startup data. To adjust languages, press Edit. Scroll to the language and press Save to select the language or Cancel to return to the current settings. Now let's look at how the drive is controlled. The ACS355 has application macros that are pre-programmed parameter sets suitable for different applications. Next, we will select the application macro for the drive. Select parameter 9902. Go to the correct application macro with arrow keys and press Save. For this video, we will use the default macro, ABB standard. In parameter 9903, we select the asynchronous motor as value 1. The drive can also be used to control permanent magnet motors without feedback Check the motor rating plate for the nominal voltage, current, frequency, speed and power. Enter the motor data exactly as it appears on the motor nameplate to ensure correct operation of the drive. Parameter 9905 is for motor nominal voltage. Parameter 9906 is for motor nominal current. Make sure that the value of the drive rated current is set higher or equal to motor nominal current. Parameter 9907 is for motor nominal frequency. If you're using a permanent magnet motor, insert back EMF voltage at nominal speed or frequency here. Parameter 9908 is for motor nominal speed. And Parameter 9909 for motor nominal power. For motor control mode, select parameter 9904. There are three motor control selection options. Scalar frequency, vector speed, vector torque. For this video, we will use vector speed control. Now the motor data is entered and the motor can be started. Next, we will take a look at the options for the first start. For motor setup, go to parameter 9910. There are two choices for the first start. Off ID magnetization and full ID. Here we use ID magnetization. The following basic settings are often application or machine specific. For this video, we will set the speed to increase to 1500 RPM. For speed limits, select parameter 2001 for minimum speed and parameter 2002 for maximum speed. Here we set the limits from 0 to 1500. To set deceleration and acceleration times, go to parameter 2202 for acceleration and parameter 2203 for deceleration. Here we set acceleration time to 0.5 seconds and keep deceleration at 5 seconds. For speed scaling, go to parameter 1105. Here we use a 10 volt analog input to correspond to a speed value of 1500 RPM. Ensure that your latest setup is saved to the drive's memory. To do so, go to parameter 1607. Drive is now ready to be used. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.